um, active on Facebook in the Metabol Lions Tracker on Facebook. My brother Edward Imwanga um, Mwamba. Good afternoon if you can hear me. Good afternoon. And um, I hope you are good. I'm very good. And you? Digress. I can't remember we talked about three, four months ago um, concerning two Cameroonians who were who about to play for one of the biggest clubs on the African continent and one of the best clubs in Ghana, Asante Koroko. We talked about these two players and um, you said a whole lot about them. Now, let me ask you, as a Cameroonian and um, as a sports journalist, how do you feel monitoring these players playing in Ghana and then lifting high the flag of Cameroon? I think it's a source of pride. They are making us proud back here in Cameroon. Uh, we we expected them to be to be good, but I think that they are they are they are exceeding expectation. Wow, was a little bit more competitive than the Cameroon League. So we 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 knew that they would do well, but I think that they have really done extremely well so far. So what, what, back home, what, what are some of the comments people are passing about Infegi and Mbella? A lot of good things have been said back here about these two. Etugan uh, 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 Bela wasn't really the one that we were expecting to, to shine like he's doing because he was a revelation last year in the league here in Cameroon. He, he played for, for AS Fortuna on first season in the, in the Cameroon top five. He managed to get double figures, but we were really expecting Fege to be the main man there. But uh, surprisingly, Etuga has taken all the shine. I think we, we have. Oh, wow, wow. We are having. Oh, playing. Uh, hello, Mwamba. Yes, I'm getting. Um, we, we, are, we are trying to get to get him back. Um, small technical challenges. Oh, the network. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm Hello, Edward. Yes, I'm getting you very clearly. Yes, I think I think now the, the network is, is quite stable. So from what you are saying, it, it, it means uh, of the two players, you are quite surprised that it is rather a um, Bella who is making the headlines whilst you thought it was going to be in Fegi. Wow. Wow, wow. wow. Um, okay, let's, let's, let's try to get him back. Let, let's try to get him back on the line. Uh, yeah, we are trying to go get, to go back to Cameroon, and we, we we speak to our good brother, um, Edward Mwambo Mwanga. Yes, um, uh, Wama Makai, the very first time we hear this kind of interview. Wama Makai, say Mitchell, say video, say by the other cobra. Okay, let's see whether I, I can talk to um, Edward again. Hello, Edward. Yes, I'm getting you. Yes, welcome back. We, we were having small challenges um, on, 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 about the network. Yes, so from what you are telling me, Cameroonians are quite surprised that of the two, whilst they thought Mbella um, or Infege was going to make the headlines, it, it is rather the other way around. It is rather Mbella who is making all the headlines, right? Yes, because I was saying a while ago that Infege was a more established player back here in Cameroon haven't played in the Cameroon top flight for about four seasons. Mbela was only, uh, it was a revelation last season, so we didn't really know much about him until last season. So we knew that Mfege had what it takes to succeed in Ghana. Oh, okay. Last week or last two weeks, we, we saw a, 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 a publication. I think one of, of your papers, The Guardian, um, they made a public publication about Mbela. How true was that? <laughs> It's every media platform back here in Cameroon. They talk about him a lot here because he is really doing great for himself and, and flying the Cameroon flag very high out there in the Ghanaian Premier League. So media outlets here in Cameroon, I I wouldn't be surprised if you if he was on the headlines of the Ghana newspaper. Oh, okay. Now we 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 we're hearing that um of, of the two, maybe Imbella will get a call up to the national team. How, how true is that one too?
but I, I, I think that uh, he, he, he is a player that can also keep a close eye on because striving as he is doing in the Ghanaian League, he can be a, a worthwhile addition in a national team. Remember, we got. Why not? Are, are you there? Wow. Hello, I am, Yes, I, I was saying that Cameroon now have a new coach, and so it wouldn't be a surprise if Mbella is considered for selection. After all, he's doing extremely well back there in Ghana. Would, would you say that your countrymen playing for Kodoko has added some value to them? <laughs> Without any doubt, both of them are, are flying high. They, they, if you look at, uh, apart from the goals, a player like Nfege will fight for every ball. Like I told you some months back, he's a player who will give you 120% every other, every other game. And uh, so apart from the, the numbers in the goals and all of that, these, these two the uh, Kotoko set up. Wow. Now... I don't know whether you find information or that there are some news out there that some foreign clubs are after the services of these two players. <laughs> that too is not a surprise. Uh, a player like uh, Etuga has a lot of exposure. Etuga Mbela, he, he, and he is still very young, just uh, just about 20. He should be a player that many foreign clubs will be, will be looking looking at. Uh I, they, they, they have the pedigree to go out there and play for a, a European club. Now, the last time we talked to you, you, you were talking of uh, um, Mfege playing for Avion. And I asked you why they didn't give him out to any team in Cameroon. And you said the godfather of that yes. team took Mfege as a son. And so he never wanted him to play for any team in Cameroon. Now, how, how does he feel? Again, the bad drop of the exploits Mfege is making here in Ghana. He is a proud president. His name is Pierre Batamak. He is, he is someone who, who loves to show off a lot. And each time you talk to him, he will tell you, I told you guys that this jewel of mine will go out there and take Ghana by storm. He is a very proud man looking at what Mfege is doing out there, uh, uh, Pierre Batamak. He is a man who expresses himself a lot. He loves to talk about his experts. And he, he is taking all the... You, you, you as a journalist, how do you monitor these guys? Of course, uh, we, we are fortunate to have a, a wonderful uh, uh, tie with some of what these guys are doing. Again, the, the Facebook page of, of uh, Kotoko is also very active. <laughs> In when they scored and all of that, but we, we must give you the, the thanks because you are doing a great job for me in particular to give me all the updates on what these guys are doing. So, before you talk a little of us, um, Kodoko supporters are listening to you. In fact, those who are doubting Thomas is the very, the very first day we talk. I'm very, very sure that by now they have you know have a different mentality about whatever you told us. Now, before you take a little of us. What are Cameroonians saying? What 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 are they saying to Kodoko? And what message have they gotten for their brothers here in Ghana? I think that Kotoko have won themselves a good number of fans back here in Cameroon because before now Cameroonians didn't really uh, care about the Ghanaian league. But with what Mfege and uh, uh, Tugambela are doing out there, Kotoko has a lot of fans back here in Cameroon just because of what these two boys are doing. So the, the Kotoko fan base in Cameroon is now a huge one, and so the, we are, we are all now finding ourselves supporting Kotoko, wanting them to succeed because of these our ambassadors who are part of their team. So. Uh, I, I must tell you that back here in Cameroon, Kotoko now has a very huge fan. And um, just, just an update, um, Mbella has been voted as a um, player uh, of the month of uh, um, January. So um, that, that is the latest on Mbella. Okay. I saw that as well. And, and I we, we must... Congratulate him for that. Of course, his teammates also have helped him out with the uh, with this, the support and all the assists. But we must say that uh, a big uh, congratulations to him for winning the Ghanaian Player of the Month. Uh, it, it's a huge one for him. And currently, he's leading our goal king chart with 13 goals. 
Definitely, that too is is, is, a, is a good one. Last season, he 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 was almost he almost won the Golden Boot back here in the Cameroon League because he finished just a, a goal off. from where he left off back here in Cameroon out there in Ghana. How many goals did he score last season? It should be uh, ten or eleven, I suppose. And what and what, what about Infegi? Infegi uh, uh, scored eight goals. And Fege, I uh, was playing for a club where they all depended on him. Like I told you the last time, it it was it was a one man show from Fege for 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 Avion for like four seasons. He's been the main man. They they call they used to call him back here the machine. I I don't know if back then Kotoko, you guys know of that nickname. He was nicknamed the machine back here in Cameroon. The machine. Yes. Is it because of his work rate? I suppose. If you if you if you if you call him that anytime, just say La Machine, he he will smile because that was his nickname back in Cameroon. That's how the fans of Avion used to call him because of his work rate. Oh work okay. so the name Kodako supporters doesn't know of Infege is the machine. Edward. Yes. So the secret name for Infege is the machine. Yes, that was his, his nickname back here in Cameroon. Oh, okay. And um, I, I must be very honest with you. Asante Kodako supporters are very proud of Infege and Mbella, their work rate, their, 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 their dedication to work, and their fighting spirit. Um, anytime Mbella scores, you see the Kodako supporters chanting his name, singing, and he also be dancing to it. Mbella, Infege, Mbella, Infege. <laughs> so they have a nice time here, and the Kodako supporters are very nice to them too. Network, if I had you know, Eddie. Yes, bro. Are you there? I'm here. Yes, so, so uh, I, I, I was telling you the two are also having a very nice time here. After every game, they'll go to the Vosifers Kodoko supporters, they'll be chanting their name in Bella, in Fegi, in Bella. Infegi, and they will also be dancing to it. So they are having a very nice time here. Even some people are contemplating whether we, we, we should even naturalize the two. <laughs> Please, you should not. We we we, we might be use, needing them in the future. Don't take them away from us. I, 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 I enjoyed the videos of, of them dancing while the fans were singing. That's really nice. It shows that, that they have really endeared themselves into the minds of the Kotoko fans, which is something very good. Yes, so we, 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 we are working around the clock to see if we, we, we can naturalize them. <laughs> that would not be a good plan for us. <laughs> and they thank you so much. Um, from the first interview to now, you, you've, you've also been quite helpful to us. Um, do, do we have this in Vegas and in Bellas over there? Infegate and Bella's back in Cameroon. Is that what you're asking? Yes. You, you, you guys are known now for a fact that in Cameroon we have a lot of uh, good players. So your scouts should come down here and get more. We have. Okay. And, and we are having we are having challenges with the network there, and I think say, Eddie, thank, thank so much for 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 talking to us this afternoon. Okay, the pleasure was mine. Okay. Edward Mwambo Mwanga, 